Thank you. When you give your opinion on a friend or acquaintance, what is it that you take stock of, first of all? Is it his bank account or the salary he earns? Some people have trouble seeing any further than the dollar sign on their neighbor's homes or cars or the clothes they wear. Others may be more thoughtful. You may consider a man's intelligence more important than his bank account. Well, frankly, I tend to take another view. I'm much more concerned with how much life a man is pulling down. Do you understand what it really means to live? Do you know how to help yourself to this wonderful gift of life? Do you see your way to getting the most out of everyday living? Many people think they're living if they can be assured of breathing regularly, getting three square meals a day, and going about their business. When I come across such people, I inevitably feel a strong sense of pity for them. Then what is the key to the wonderful gift of life? We'll talk about it after this message. It's been demonstrated scientifically, time and again, that when you step up your mental life, your physical life responds accordingly. Almost immediately, your whole being reaches new levels of dynamic productivity. Easier said than done, you say? Then what about serious handicaps that keep us from becoming successful? Let me answer this point by telling you about one of the greatest pitchers that ever graced the confines of the old Ebbets Field in Brooklyn. His name was Clem Labine. By the age of 14, Clem had a powerful arm and a wonderful big hand that could grip a ball with the strength of steel. But that very year, he broke his index finger and he was left with a noticeable crook between the first and second joints. My baseball future is gone, he moaned. How can I use this crooked finger? And I want to be a pitcher. Well, Clem was lucky in that he had a coach who wasn't about to let him give up. With effort and patience and perseverance, the coach taught Clem how to hold the ball a bit differently and still deliver it with power. Moreover, Clem's pitch did some mighty peculiar things. It made straight way for the plate, then suddenly twisted, jumped, and sailed past one bewildered batter after another. That pitch took Clem right into the big league, where he had a spectacular career. The point of Clem's story is that difficulties have within themselves bright and shining pearls. Find those pearls, and you've found the key to life. Just as Clem helped himself to life, so can you. It's there for the taking.